What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're looking at the Hovercam Passport. Now this one's been out for a while, a lot of people have reviewed it, but I finally got my hands on one. It looks pretty cool, there are some flaws from what I've heard, but overall the technology is actually pretty neat. This thing takes 13 megapixel photos and 4K video. It has auto follow, apparently it's really easy to use and it's extremely portable because it's foldable. You can do 720 FPV mode, um, so if you do have a headset, apparently you can can use it with this. This one doesn't have a controller, it's controlled by your phone. Now it does have an internal 32 gigs of memory. Weight is under 250 grams or about a half pound. It has multiple filming modes, so you can put it in follow your face, follow your body, orbit mode, where it basically, you tell it where the center is and it just circles around that area, which is really cool. It's a tight box. Come on. Ooh, ooh, it's got a nice carrying case for it. Nice. Oh my God, that's the whole thing. Okay, so we've got stuff. Unfold your next journey. Sounds good to me. We got a quick guide. Oh boy, look at all this. So you got a USB 3 to micro USB 3. So we got extra propellers if we need them. Now it does have a, a carbon fiber enclosure around them. So it's very safe from what I've heard. It can take a beating. Um, I wouldn't personally want to beat it up, but there you go. You got extra blades, basic AC power adapter. I believe this is the charging station. It comes with two batteries and you can charge them simultaneously, which is really cool. You got a T3 and a T4 screwdriver with the little baby screw in it. Got a carrying bag, easy carry bag. Oh, it's nice and soft on the inside. Just a bag, just to keep it in. We got a case strap. What is this? Oh, oh, okay, cool. You just put it on the end here and you just loop that on there so you can carry it. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, those are the batteries. Oh, that is so cool looking. All right, so there's the batteries. Just set them down here like this and then you snap them in place, and there you go, and then they charge, so you put both of them on there. Very cool, I'm digging that. Wow, that is really lightweight. So the batteries, um, you can see they plug in right here, and you can just take it, put it on, there you go, there's the whole thing. Okay, so the camera itself, you just fold it out like that. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, you got your micro USB 3 port right here. On the front, you've got your camera. Now this doesn't run off of uh, GPS or anything like that. It actually has sensors on the bottom. This one and this one, I believe are the sensors. It detects how high it is and low it is off the ground. All right, let's, let's power it on. There we go. Now it should take about 10 to 20 seconds for it to fully boot up. That's the brains of it getting started. Oh, it's ready, I guess. I believe all you gotta do is push the... What is it doing? Stop! What are you doing? Whoa! Where are you going? Stop! Where are you going? It's flashing yellow. I don't know what that means. Whoa! Where are you going? Oh! Holy cow! I think maybe the battery's dead. <laughs> Let me turn it off and put the other battery in. Oh! Where are you going? Where are you going? No! Come back! I'm gonna charge up these batteries and then we're gonna take it over to the park and actually see what we can get what we can get this thing to do. So let's let's do this. Alright, so here we go. I'm gonna put it in cycle mode. So uh, because I'm gonna be riding the Xiaomi scooter that I reviewed a while back. If you need if you want to check that out, click right here or here. So in cycle mode, you're supposed to be able to set it and just ride your bike and it'll follow you. So we're gonna see how well that works. I did hear that in some slight wind, it can have a little trouble of stability and there is a little bit of wind. So we're gonna see how well it does. So let's just see what happens. Back off. You're too close to my face. Follow me. There we go. Back up. <laughs> All right. So I'm putting this in my back pocket and we're gonna ride. Wow, I can't believe this thing is actually keeping up with me. It's like right on my head. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Where's it going? Can you see me? It lost me. Oh, there we go. Come on, little guy. Let's go. <laughs> this thing is awesome. Oh my God, this thing is cool. I've never had a drone just follow me autonomously. 
Oh my God, this thing is awesome. It's like right there. It, it's kind of scary because I think it's going to run into me. All right, let's see what happens when I saw. Oh, it's getting close. It's getting close. Ah! <laughs> it's really cool technology. It's fun uh, and it'll fo it follows you. And I was going pretty quick and it followed me. So that part worked. But either way, I mean, it is functional. I mean, it's very easy to use. It's extremely lightweight uh, with a little carrying case that it comes with. It's not bad. I mean, you could travel with it. You can use it. Now it doesn't last for very long. The recording and the flight time is pretty low, but you know, with the extra battery that it comes with, you just swap it out. It's pretty cool. I'm kind of digging it. Anyway, guys, that is it. I'm going to leave links down in the description below. Definitely go check it out for yourself. I leave it in your hands, but as for now, get out of here.